Welcome back to part four and the last part of We Video Features. However, there are a few more videos to view, so make sure you don't miss those. This is not the last one. Um, for this video, we're going to talk about kind of how to end your video um, and how to add credits a couple different ways. And then finally, how to export your video, however, uh, whichever social media or um, educational platform you guys use, I almost guarantee uh, we video can offer that for you. So let's get to it. Um, first thing you want to do, if, if someone is recording you, like someone's recording me in this video, you want to hold that final pose just so you have a little more wiggle room. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm just going to watch here. So what, ready? On the footer of each page of my site. Thanks and good luck. Hold it. Yeah. And I probably shouldn't have swung my arms down there, but you know, you kind of get the idea. And that's kind of for the beginning of the, the video too. You kind of want to stare at the camera. Obviously, if you're live, you can't do this. But if you're pre-recording like I did here, um, before you start the video, you kind of want to hold your pose and then start talking. You don't want to start talking right when they say action because it just doesn't give you a lot of room to put transitions in and stuff and uh, video or uh, more overlay or anything like that. So make sure you kind of just hold your pose now. So obviously, you know, you want to use your marker here and probably want to go here. Um, and then remember, you can select everything, cut it. And then those are still highlighted backspace. Next space, delete. Now we're good. Um, however, now remember, if it's the end of the video, you kind of want to do a transition. Here's your dip the black, just to remember, just to remind yourself. Oops, so you want to put that on you. There you go. Um, and then you might also want to put it, let's see if it'll, yeah. So you might want to double it up, okay? Because you got different layers going here. So there's a double dip to black there. Now, for credits, you know, you might want to, I always like putting a, a music or some sound on at the end. So that should be the last thing you do. We already did audio, so I'm not going to do that. Now there's a couple things you can do. If you, um, you want to go to text and you can even just do like titles and you can do any of these motion ones, you know, you can do in with a whisper, you know, so you could go like this. Let's do a quick example. And you could put this up on uh, text, but you can obviously do it through your video too. So there's no more video. So either or work. You can go here and you can do special thanks to dot dot. You know, Mr. Smith for recording. You know, give, give your give your thanks to, or this could be a good thing to talk about what you're learning next. Okay, so hey, on the next video or tomorrow, expect you know, as a teacher, it's always nice to give your uh, students a heads up on what's coming up, uh, so they're what what to expect to learn for the next lesson. So you can do credits, you know, say thank you or video presented by or special thanks, you know, what whatever. Um, so you could do let's just see what the, how those look. Of each page of my site, thanks. Good luck. There's your dip to black. Special thanks to. Now, obviously, you can zoom in if you think that's too long, which I kind of do. Zoom in. Should take you right to where the marker was. Yep. So scroll over here. And then you can just shrink these down. You know, maybe you want them to, for three seconds. Scroll over. Okay. And then we're going here. Special thing. And remember, music's always a nice touch at the end. And there. All right. Now, if you really have a lot of people to thank, okay, so think about the movies. How do the movies do it? All right. They do rolling credits. This is a little more intense, but once you get the hang of it, it's not that bad. So you got to go back. So now we're just in back to the normal text. You want to go all the way down and you want to go to here. All right. So obviously you want to, you know, I'm directed by, produced by, okay. You fill in all your names. You can keep going under. Okay. So you would hit save. I'm just going to say this is all done. Okay. And look, you can font, you know, all the size. Okay. You can do whatever. So you hit save changes. All right. Now to get this to roll, because right now it's not going to roll. You want to double click and then you're going to go here and then you're going to go to animation. It's that like three page, three rectangle thing. So this is where it's gonna where it's gonna start. Okay, so we want these off the screen. So see how it gives you your four arrow thing. You're gonna take this and you're just gonna drag it down. Now, what's important to keep an eye on? All right, so just take that and get it off the screen. You want to make sure you keep it near the middle and pay attention to your X. 
and your X is at 184. So that's crucial to remember. And then you're going to hit end. Okay, now it takes you back to this. So you're going to drag it up, try to keep it as middle as possible, and take it off the screen. Let go. See, I'm at 163. I want to put, what was our magic number? 184. Done. Save changes. Okay, now let's see what it looks like. See if it works. Good luck. And there it is. All right, we'll say, you know what? I think that's actually a pretty good speed. But let's say if it was, let's say if you wanted to speed it up, maybe it's not fast enough for you. You just take it, shrink it down. Now, this is going to be super fast, but I just want you to get the point. And good luck. Boom. Okay, and then obviously if you wanted to make it longer, you just drag it as long as you can. Okay, so that is how to make rolling credits, which is a nice touch. You know, that's, you know, that's how the pros do it at the, at the end of, you know, big feature film movies. So um, there it is. Okay, so now you have, um, well, before you do this step, I always recommend watching your video at least one more time. I almost guarantee there's something you can improve, edit, uh, maybe find a quick mistake just to make sure. Uh, your video is, is, is clean and is visually appealing and everything spelled right as possible. So make sure you give that one last preview. Remember, shortcut is that arrow right there. Boom. Take it to the beginning. Watch it through. Okay. Let's say you did that. Everything's good. We're at the end. Um, also, a good idea to always check. Hit that last arrow just one more time because some people put like clips all the way at three minutes or like way down here and then they forget about them and then the video picks them up and your video should be three minutes and one second. And now it's like seven minutes with a bunch of blank screen. So that's another little tip to make sure you do. Okay. So now we're done. You are just going to hit finish. All right. Um, you can you know, enable your video. That's how it's going to read in the file. Set. Okay. Now here's the important part. <clears throat> Here is the, your options. Now I believe there is a way if you don't like these, you can customize this, but let's say, you know, I'm, I'm they usually give you a good one. I'm happy with that one. Okay. I would always recommend HD. Now, depending on where you're putting it, it might not let you, but it's always worth a shot. If they don't take the HD, they'll just put it back to the regular standard definition. Okay. And then look, here is all your destinations, which is amazing. Okay. Best one is Google drive. So if you are making a video, your video goes right into Google Drive and now it is easy to access and they even make you a folder. All right. Which is great. They automatically make you a folder and all your videos go right into there. Perfectly organized. Okay. And then you can set up your YouTube account. It'll automatically download there. Okay. If you use Dropbox, OneDrive, Vimeo, FTP, Daily Motion. I mean, I don't even heard of half of these box or uh, Dropbox repl reply. So there is tons of different options. And then obviously if you just do, you know, if maybe you don't have one of these, once you download it into Wii video, all right, they'll give you the link to uh, the video. So, you know, say for some reason you don't, you don't use any of these, you got something else, they'll give you that link. So it is as easy as possible. So that is pretty much the final um, part on the features. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, there is a couple more to go. So make sure you um, you don't skip those last couple of videos because we're going to talk about how to get um, your Google slides into WeVideo easily and just do a voiceover, which I think is amazing. So make sure you catch that one. Hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you next time.